we are trying to clear is this zero point energy field. So it is a medium in space and time that allows for the exchange of information is what this zero point energy field is. So because there is this continual exchange of energy and the constant passing of information, when a collision occurs, something is always lost and something is always gained. So we uh, need to, or released and gained. So there's always kind of this juggling. And, and so to be able to go in and clear this energy field or this zero point energy field, because when it gets mucky, it looks like muddy water. And uh, so when we can't see the future clearly, when we become indecisive, uh, that's a good indicator that something's going on when we can't make decisions clearly. Uh, when, when I go to the restaurant and I'm looking through the menu and can never pick something to, that there's, I mean, I could be very hungry and I want to eat everything, but then there's the times where everything just seems overwhelming. Like I just, I can't even pick a simple menu item is a really good indicator that energy needs to be cleared. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about some, some things that we can do to help clear that stuff. And insomnia is related to um, not being able to clear the energy as well. If, would you have insomnia if you're overburdened with energy? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Anything that uh, is cerebral and, and mind related, mm -hmm. Uh, and I just recently took this course about access consciousness and it really had a, a good way of describing it is that if our mind who we've been told figures things out and is so logical and you know helps us compartmentalize if it was truly there to help us solve the problem of thinking and overcoming problems and everything like that it would have solved the problem but the thing is, is that the more things that we have for the mind to figure out, and even though we have all these apps that can take control of this and help organize us and all the calendars and every tool that we have to make things easier, it has really put a lot of pressure on the mind to do all of these things. And when we think it's not doing a good job, you know, we freak out, right? Tons of anxiety, tons of panic, tons of overwhelm. And the mind was really not meant for this at all. Uh, we like to think with our heads in some logical way, but unless the field of the body is taken care of, the mind really is just kind of the, the end game, if you will. So, we have many layers of energy in the body, and I know that there are tons of layers. Um, I, you know, they go from physical to etheric to, I don't know the names of all of them. I haven't memorized all of them. I just know that they have funky names and they go way out there. You can sometimes reach your energy across the street and sometimes sometimes we completely withdraw and shut our energy down and i think that's where the quote of marianne williamson comes into play is letting that letting your light shine so that it gives other people's permission to let their light shine is that i've seen people go through traumatic events mm -hmm. and they don't they have completely shut their energy field down they don't want exchanges happening uh, so that can be uh, an issue as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>